been so stormy here. We had two really big storms with rain that I don't know if I've seen much like it before. And we also have the smoke from the wildfires that's back. So there's a haze over everything and I haven't been down to the water in a couple weeks so I'm up really early today. I have to go get some food from a couple towns over. And I thought I'd come see what everything was looking like after the big storms we had the other day. There's just a haze from the smoke sitting over everything and it, it makes it almost look like it's a watercolor painting in the distance. I felt that, I felt that sigh. Is that your fort? Did the FedEx truck make a scary noise? Are you in your fort? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I gotta pour it. That's not the And who exactly do you think you are? Huh, oh, buddy? You know, my, my journey to a more gentle, slower life. Timing. Timing. My journey to a slower, more gentle life was not as gentle as I would have preferred it. Um, in my personal situation, I just didn't know so many of the things that God has been, you know, gracious enough to show me now. If I had known then the things I know now, I would have been slowly moving into this life so much sooner because I spent so many years stuck in a fight or flight response being heavily in new age spirituality which at the offset seems like this love and light experience but ended up really holding a lot of darkness and trauma for me what i was experiencing towards the end coming out of a very abusive relationship experience the industry that I was in, family things that were going on, things that were going on internally with me. Going from apartment to apartment, living right outside of New York City, getting on the train, the ferry, the subways, going in and out of the city, and it was just constant adrenaline, constant fight or flight, and I was a big mess. When God got a hold of me, he got a hold of my life, he kind of thrust me out of the life I was in 
into a completely different life and it's and then the the journey started but I guess for me he had to rip me out of it and just throw me into the refining fire but if I knew then what I know now I would have told myself no matter where you are you could be in the middle of the city no matter what's going on no matter what circumstances are in your life you can begin to embrace this idea of slow and gentle living no matter where you are and you can start to take the, the steps and move your heart into a posture to be open to the next season of your life that's coming i love it out here i'm so grateful it's not perfect by any means but gentle living is not perfect living it's not just it's not an aesthetic there are beautiful aesthetic aspects to living in the woods to living in the mountains to living a slower life because you're really so much more aware and attentive to the little beautiful things in the everyday and I think that's part of the core of gentle living is being in awe of the little things romanticizing the ordinary and treading lightly on yourself, on others, on what's around you, and being more aware, being more still, so that you can hear the voice of God, being moved by the everyday things, praying your way through household and outdoor chores, as opposed to complaining through them. Are there things in your life that you can cut back on but you just haven't or you've been afraid to things that aren't serving the purpose that you were put here in the world to do the scariest things are not necessarily what we jump into but what we let go of to enjoy things and see the beauty in things that maybe they didn't before like cooking taking care of a home learning what it's like to put a seed in the ground and watch it grow where we're kind of saying I see the world pushing the hustle culture the grind culture but how can I still fulfill my purpose and make a living but not be submersed in that tidal wave of the modern culture that just wants to suck you under until you can't breathe no, it's not overnight, and it's not just a pretty picture on the internet, but it is learning to live a quiet life, to work with your hands, to mind your business. And in, in a world like we have today, it's such a beautiful thing. <laughs>